Owls with the free position. Trying to sidearm that one and goal for the Owls. Able to tie it up. Jenna Bolano off the free position. One to one with 26 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Time in, a, in a long time. We'll see how they work their offense. Uh, I'm going to guess Tufts is one of the best defensive teams in the country. Keeps they already able to get a goal, but we'll see if they can get another one. So Kraft controlling the play from behind the net. She's got one man on her and not backing off. Passes this one wide over for, I want to say that's Bolano. And now the center and goal for Keene State. That one came, looks like that was from the net of Cora Tellis. Or Sam Sullivan. come up and pack her from behind. So free position for Bolano. Owls trail by four. And Bolano softly passes this one to her left over for Ballard and into the corner for Taylor Graff. And she sneaks this one right in and bounces it off the ground for the corner. But that was tremendous. Kinsey definitely took Tufts off guard. Uh, Taylor Graff, usually a player. On the way, under four minutes to go. Fireland able to scoop that one out of the air, see if she can get it off the ground. And she knocks out of the stick and controls the play. On a powerful mission there is Fireland and shies away to her left to let the offense catch up. Really important important play there for Farland. That's the speed that we're used to seeing from Taylor Farland right there. There she looks like the fastest player on the field. Absolutely. She's an incredible athlete when she chooses to. Sometimes when she gets in her own head and kind of just like lets the ball go by, I get really frustrated. When I see her play like that, it's just absolutely incredible to watch. Uh, she, she just shifted it into another gear right there. She's saying, I don't want this lead to get any bigger. I'll come back. Goal for a keen state. And that one's going to come off, I believe that was coming off a free position. Yep. And that one goes for Jenna Milano. That's going to be her second free position. We'll be giving right back to Makar. Makar with the hustle, usually uh, all the way back on defense, coming across the midfield line. We've seen that recently by Makar. She plays almost like a midfielder. Goal there for the Owls. I want to say that was Farwin. Gets the goal there, starting to pick it up, and that's what I like to see from her. I think Ardra is at 5'2". So Anna Bryan stands at 5'8". She's from Winchester, Mass. And as I mentioned, she's a freshman. So nice to see that she's in the game now today. Well, O'Brien. Goal there for the Owls. That one's going to go to Samantha Ballard very quickly off the jump of things. So the Owls are going to lessen that margin. Reposition. Graf has one goal already on the game. I'd love to see her tack on another. Graf sidearms this one. Goal for Graf. And just walks away, drops the stick. Totally confident. 